Well, I appreciate it. I'm, I'm not going to uh, uh, say anything but honest things here. I'm ashamed about uh, what has uh, come about in these emails, and I'll make no uh, excuses for it. It's just, it's, it's shameful. But uh, I am a good person. I believe that. I, I'm, I, I go to church. I've been married for 31 years. I got three great boys. I still love football. I've made some mistakes, but I don't think anybody else in here hasn't. Uh, and I just ask for forgiveness, and hopefully I get another shot. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack here from this John Gruden interview. For those of you who are unaware, former Raiders head coach John Gruden resigned last year after an NFL investigation recovered some damning emails he made almost 10 years ago where he made racist, misogynistic, and homophobic remarks. And it's been almost one year since his bombshell dropped and Gruden's now looking to get back into the league. He publicly apologized and defended himself for the first time on Tuesday, telling a pack of college football supporters in Arkansas during a question and answer session that the content of the leaked emails that got him fired were shameful at least. However, some people were infuriated with this apology after it seemed as though he felt he should have been exonerated from his sins because he's been married for 31 years, still loves a game of football, and that everyone in life has made mistakes. And honestly, whoever his PR guy is should have been fired because it was obvious this type of apology wasn't going to be well received by the general public. Now for me personally, I don't think John Gruden did anything wrong per se, and I know a lot of you are going to come at me in the comment section and all, but I gotta keep it a buck. These emails are from almost 10 years ago when the world as we know it was completely different. And are you telling me of those 650,000 emails, only 7 of them were inappropriate and they just so happened to all come from John Gruden's email address? I didn't think so either. Prior to 2013 or 2014, you would hear these slurs everywhere, whether it be at school, work, or even movies. Tell your fucking friend he can't come either. Paging Dr. F Dr. F I should go. That's a good idea, Dr. I'm not saying this makes it right, but that's just how the times were. So unless you're okay with someone combing through your emails, text messages, or DMs from 10 years ago, I don't think you have the right to point the finger at someone else. It's either we publicly release those 650,000 emails which belong to members of the press, NFL personnel, and members of the commander's team, or we give Gruden a second chance. Because it's clearly not right that he was made to be the scapegoat in this investigation, hence he has one hell of a case against the league. On top of that, I just don't think John is a racist. Sure, he made racial comments in a joking manner to grab a few laughs from colleagues, but even when you listen to his former players who played for him, they all say the same thing. And I think when you look at it, as I said before, Coach Gruden has never ever done anything verbally that would make me think that he is a racist, he's homophobic, at anything, he's never never shown me that side of him. But you're not going to call my head coach a racist. I sat in front of him for two years, and I'm a child of the South. I, I was raised in Florida. Anyways, with that being said, I still don't think John can recover from this because we're living in a different time. Had this happened six or maybe seven years earlier, maybe he'd be able to come back to the league at some point. But then again, if Howard Stern can say shit like this and then become one of the faces of America's Got Talent, who knows, maybe Gruden does have a future in the league after all. Hey, did you happen to notice this? No, what this is that? This guy's my mother, Mama Dancing. <laughs> Why, wow, she done work in blackface too. She must be very proud. Yeah. Now I know you really love me, Ted. You the man. Oh, uh, I tell you, you know, you the man. 